we're back again. Back again. Dynamic duo. Yeah, let's say, yeah. Dynamic duo. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to this. Cheers. Cheers to no more popcorn. Yep. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? Yep. Worst whiskey on the planet. <laughs> Well, what, what did we watch tonight? Uh, I know it was one of the Sinbad movies. Yeah, not not the seventh voyage of Sinbad. Not that one. Is that the one? That's Ray Harryhausen. Okay. That's a fantastic movie. Yes. We watched Sinbad of the Seven Seas. Okay. Starring one Lou Ferrigno. Yes. That amazing chiseled man. Oh, yeah. He's just like pure beefcake all the yeah. way. Beefcake, yeah. nice perm hair. Yeah, Can't, could not stop looking at his pecs. They're like, <laughs> they're in their own zip code, those pecs. Like, <laughs> tectonic plates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's jacked in this movie. This must this must have been during his, like, bodybuilding peak, I would think. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, Tavy looked it up. It was 89 when this movie came out. I figured it was earlier just based on, like, the quality. I think it's Italian-made. Yeah. There was a lot of Italian names. Yeah. Uh, it's this is a weird movie. It's really it's got just a weird feeling to it. And it starts off right at the beginning. And this is the thing I don't like about it is oh, yeah. the mom reading to the daughter, oh it's a Sinbad bedtime story. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that with was it Princess Bride? Princess, but the thing with Princess Bride, I think you only see it beginning at the beginning and end, right? Mostly, no, it, it comes in does in different it? parts. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time. But the thing about this movie, you've got the mom reading to the, to the daughter. Mommy, what they do then? And then the mom. The thing is, like, she's narrating all the way through the movie, yeah. and it just it takes you a step back from the action, right? So you're like, you know, you'll get a few minutes, you'll get into it, and then she just starts narrating. And they'll even be talking with, you'll, oh, yeah. you'll see all the characters, the she'll be yeah. talking over it, and then you'll see characters talking, and then nothing's coming out of their mouth. It's just her explaining what's happening. Why don't you just yeah. do what you're doing? Yeah. We don't need you to have this woman telling us what you're doing because you're there. Yeah. Just do it. Well, yeah, let's just watch the movie. Yeah, if they took that part out, it definitely would have been better. It's It does step you back from it a little bit. That's one of my main gripes of it. Oh, the <coughs> overdubbing of everybody, except for like two people. Yeah. I don't like it. I didn't like it. It took away from Lou Fregno. I wanted Lou Fregno's real voice. Yeah, they did, they put in like Mr. Hero Man yeah. voiceover for Lou Fregno. So yeah, he has a unique kind of voice. You want to hear him speaking, right? Yeah. But, so yeah, it, it's like you've got um, the kingdom. It's the most peaceful, beautiful kingdom. Yeah. You've got the, the king with the onion head hat. Yeah, typical king dude from like Aladdin. Yeah. White dude with white beard, short and fat with fucking hair. Yeah. yeah. He's got his hot daughter. Yep. Beautiful princess, whatever her name is. And he got evil Jafar. Jafar, yeah. <laughs> and Jafar, he basically steals four crystals from the king and, and like shoots them out into the land. Yep. And so you've got Sinbad and his merry crew. You've got, uh, is that a Viking? Yeah, Viking. He's got. The, the, the Chinese guy who was called Samurai for some reason and by the yeah. credits he's called yeah. Samurai they're like I don't know Asian whatever the Asian guy that fights yeah, yeah. You, you've got the dwarf a dwarf you've got the bald cook yeah the bald cook and then it's bald cook yeah and uh, Prince Ali so Prince Ali and the princess they're they're supposed to get married yeah but then they show up in town and everything's gone evil everybody's yes. just everybody's just bad it literally says we sent out evil through the land, and everybody just starts they just screaming stop. and throwing stuff. And like <laughs> stall, you know, market stalls falling yeah, over. He's, it's like oh. he's like, yeah, he was. It's like nothing out. actually happens. No. They just start screaming and run. Yeah, he, he's like, I, I want poverty. 
uh, pretty much everything for the apocalypse to happen. <laughs> yeah. And it instantly just everybody loses their shit. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that, this is where I want to. I think probably the best part of this movie is Jafar, the villain. Oh, yeah. He's, he's so over the top. Yeah, he's so crazy, wacky. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's just like. It's like they, they said, just be insane. Yeah. And like you're talking about where he's like, I want to drain all the happiness from the land. And he's got these like long crooked teeth. Yeah. And he's just like, eh, this pointy beard. And he just goes insane the whole movie. He's the best part, I think. I, aside from a few things that yeah. happen, but yeah. as far as characters go, he's definitely the best. Oh, yeah. He, he is the best character in it. Yeah, my favorite part is the one where I guessed where Lou Fregno's in the, in the little dungeon thing. This, this is, <laughs> might be the best part of the whole movie. Yeah. So Lou Fregno is like trying to, he, he's confronting Jafar like in the beginning. Jafar's like, no, oh, too bad. And he sends him down the street. Well, he's like, there's a little like, there's a little like knob trigger thing on the on the throne because yeah. he's right in front of the throne he tells him to kneel or he's going to kill the king yeah. and he just like Jafar is just like he like pushes the thing and then the <laughs> trap door opens and yeah. he slides down the slide yes and then it's like just how he, he just figures yeah I'm going to get out this way there's, some, there's snakes in the pit and he, he befriends the snakes yeah and he's like you guys He's like, you guys have a hard down here, huh? Yeah, yeah, you got a hard down here. I just want to be your friend. He, yeah, Jafar is using you, saying you gotta, you gotta bite me when I fall down here. <laughs> it's all right. And he's like petting and caressing. Yeah, he pets him. the cobra. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't. Then you've got the over narrating over this is a woman going. And then he made some new friends. Yeah. His new freak snake friends helped Sinbad escape. And you see Sinbad tying the snakes together. The snakes would die. <laughs> they would die. <laughs> yeah, he ties up all the snakes together. Voluntarily, they yes. volunteer. Yes, the one didn't want to do it, but then he still convinced He the pets him and it. talks yeah. him into it, yeah. Because <laughs> that snake knew we're gonna die. It's doing so this. weird. And yeah, he ties him up, he throws a snake rope up to the top, and then climbs up, every snake dies as he's just <laughs> squeezing it Crushed. with his body weight and stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's where he's in the dungeon, because all of his buddies were were captured, and there's, oh, a, yeah. A, yeah, they're captured. there's a wacky Three Stooges-like fight in the dungeon, yeah. and there's like, there's a... a a bathtub filled with piranhas. Oh yeah. And the the fucking the jailer that sounds like Doctor Claw is like, put them, put the bald one yeah. in the piranhas. The hair gets stuck in their teeth. With <laughs> the slanty eyes in the chair. Yeah, like, yeah. What, yeah, what was yeah, the yeah. chair supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. And then he's like, oh yeah, and then yeah. Piranhas don't love bald ones because they don't have any hair. Yeah. They don't like hair getting stuck in their yeah. teeth. Piranhas don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> when you see like the like these puppet mouths, yeah, puppet mouths. It kind of look like when you first see what is the thing in brain damage. Remember the puppet? Oh, Fred? Is it named Fred? I think his name was like Fred or something like that. It looked like that a little bit. Yeah. It's just like these like mouths coming out of the... Oh yeah, you can tell there's people up on the Yeah. Do with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this movie, it's like, it's like it's mainly trying to be a kid's movie. Yeah. A lot of the time. But then you'll there'll be scenes where like, like Lou Ferrigno punches through... Oh, that was badass. He yeah. punches through like kind of a zombie zombie spirit thing. Yeah, he punches through, pulls out the heart, and the heart has a face on it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like looking at it and he's like and then he's talking so Jafar oh, yes. Jafar watches him through like a mirror, right? Yes. And he's like kind of controlling what's happening, the monsters and stuff. And then Luke, this happens like three times. Lou Frigno like will look up, and he's like looking right into the camera. And he's yeah. like, "Take this, Jafar." How does he know where to yeah, look? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be looking anyway. <laughs> As we know where Jafar's camera is, 
<laughs> then he crushes the crushes the heart and explodes in green goo. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else was there with this movie? The, I like the. Um, there's a scene where they're fighting the, the kind of zombie soldiers, like. Oh yeah. The horse. They actually buried a dude yes. with a horse. It yes. <laughs> literally comes up out of the ground. That horse was pissed as fuck. Yeah, the horse looked crazy, man. It was really pissed. Yeah, it, it basically it, it sends them on. They got these little kind of mini adventures. They have to go to these different places to get these crystals back. Like they go to the island of the Amazon. Oh yes. I thought the Japanese or whatever he was, the Asian guy. I thought he wasn't going to be like swoon. Is that the word by by the Amazon women? Yeah. Because I thought he was a little bit like secretly gay or something. <laughs> but he had a rainbow color like outfit on yeah. and the makeup. He had a so, weird haircut. Yeah, I thought he was going to be the one that wasn't going to be phased by the Amazon women. But He's like no, your powers he have no sway. Hold no sway over yeah. me. Yeah. And then he winks at Sinbad. Yeah. Yeah. He's like I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you know they they capture them through traps and seduction. They get Sinbad immediately. The the Amazon oh, yeah. queen like does her does her yeah. dance. Jungle fever is what I hear. They he got call caught. It. He yeah. caught the jungle fever. Yep. He could not resist it. It's like going to Atlanta. You can't resist it. Oh no! no. You go to Claremont Lounge. You caught it. Yeah, you caught, caught it. it. You yeah. can't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, at the Amazon Island. Yeah. You, the the other good one is the uh, the the monster like this sort of it look, kind of looks like the like a like a swamp thing oh yeah but it shoots lasers from its hands yes yeah so it's just like doing this i don't know where it's gonna get some laser beams in there. yeah it's just yeah. like ah what do we do i don't know it's green it shoots lasers from its hands and old Lou figures out how to shoot lasers out of the stones yeah he back just, at it yeah he picks yeah. up the crystals and he's like <laughs> it's super dumb it's such a dumb movie Oh yeah, another dumb part was like it was the the first island they had to go to. Yeah. Like no boat could get there, so he had to swim all the way to it. It seemed like a long swim. I think it was literally just so you could see Luke Rigno swimming. Yeah. Like underneath, like yeah. shot. It's like more sure, muscle. Sure, we can't get this boat any closer. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, and then you know the. They get all the crystals, but then Sinbad gets separated from his crew. They get teleported. His crew gets teleported oh, back yeah. out to the ocean. By and he's left on this island, and he meets. He's on this island. He's like, and the the, the, the woman narrator is literally like, he just figures he's gonna live the rest of his days on this island. On this dead island. Which is where all those zombie soldiers were yeah. with the horses and stuff. Yeah. But then he just randomly he's sleeping, and this woman, this redhead. Shows up. Oh, Kira. Yeah, 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 Kira, the cute redhead. And she's got her crazy wizard dad. That just speaks in random shit. He's like, <laughs> just, yeah. And he's got like a curly mustache, and he's like a Mike Myers yeah. slash Rob Schneider kind of character. Mike Myers, crazy old scientist slash magician thing back in the day. It was just so out of nowhere. She's like, well, we got here on our air ship, but we can't get out. Yeah. You can't make hot air. Yeah, we have reason. no way to make hot air. We did it the one time to get yeah. out here, but we can't do it now. We're trapped. And Lou Fringo's like, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll blow it up. And he blows up the balloon. Yeah, it was like <laughs> twig fire. It's like, oh, yeah. Should have thought about a twig fire. And then he just blows it up. Yeah. He says twig fire, and then he just blows it up yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, of course, they go back, and they confront Jafar. Yes. We... We leave off this one character. It was uh, oh, the, she was kind of like China. Builder. Yeah, I think that was female her body builder. bodybuilder. Yeah, very muscular, deep voice. Yes, like, platinum blonde, spiky hair. Yes, her name, her real name was Tegan something. Okay, we looked it up earlier. Yeah, because yeah, Tavy wanted to find out if that was a dude or not. It is a woman. I called it. Yeah. I can tell. I can tell. Yeah. I got a good. What's the word? Transdar. <laughs> yeah, trans yeah, like, yeah, at first it, it sounds like a gay dude. 
It sounded very masculine. It's a woman yeah, with a, a, it's a like woman. a smokes five packs a day yeah. Like, yeah. kind of voice. Yeah. Like she just randomly shows up. She's hanging out with Jafar. Yeah. Kind of kind of giving him shit. Oh. Like he's trying to like he's trying to work his evil plans. Yeah. I can turn it up. Do you want me to put that case of beans? Oh, no case. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's trying to work his evil plans and yeah. she's just like smack talks him. Oh yeah. Like, I go for whoever's gonna win. Yeah, he's like, Aren't you on my side? Aren't you on my side? <laughs> she's like, I go for whoever's the winner. Yeah. I go for the winner. And, and so like you think by the end when, when Sinbad shows up that she's gonna be fighting somebody. I, I kind of expected that it would have been he, a fight between them. Yeah, yeah right. No one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when he's like beating down Jafar at the end, I kind of thought she would be stepping, think she yeah. would step in and they would have a final fight. But literally, she just disappears. Yeah. When she says, I go for the winner, she disappears. Yeah. And then at the very end. Oh, yeah. When, you see her just standing there just laughing. Yeah. When they uh, won, she's <laughs> like, hey, I'm one of you guys. <laughs> like, no, no. I've. I've been on your side the whole time. <laughs> She's just hanging out with him. You know? <laughs> yeah, and this whole time, like, Jafar has the princess. He's got her, like... Oh, yeah, trying to do mind control. Or... Strapped to this bed. He's trying yeah. to break her love for Ali. Yeah. And see, he's got her strapped to this table with, like, all these, like, tubes with, like, green and... Yeah, red green liquid. and red liquids through these tubes. She's these... sitting on a plastic... He's like, you will come to love me very soon. And then, yeah, at the end, the restraint is so you got a plastic rod going through these two other plastic things here. It's supposed to be she's free. It's supposed yeah. to move to the side. So she's moving it. She's like, oh, oh. She's like, you could have done this this whole time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, overall, I I think if you show this to kids, I think kids would love this movie. Like, if I had seen this when I was, like, 10 years old... Oh, fuck yeah, I'd be watching is, that every day. Right, it would be like a classic. From school or You'd something. watch it over yeah. and over again. Yeah. And it, it does have, like, it has really fun moments. Mm. Overall, I don't know if it's the narration. It kind of drags for me, yes. overall. And man, don't do that unless you're never ending story. Yeah. And you're literally I mean, never ending story, he gets pulled into the story, right? Oh, Sebastian yeah. is part of what's actually happening and, and that makes it kinda cool. Yeah. Right? Uh, or like Page Master, which oh, yeah. I hate that movie, but it has that same idea. Too. Yeah. But this one is literally it just constantly with that narration, it just takes you it takes like yeah. it takes you a step back from the immediate thing of right. what's going on. Yeah. But I, I still think it's got fun goofy oh, yeah. moments. Fun goofy moments. I actually thought it was rather paced well. Oh, you so you this is the second time I've watched it. You, yeah, so you thought it moved faster. Yeah, I thought it okay. moved faster. They just got to the point, didn't see like any BS of them just sailing on the sea, just dicking around or whatever. So it just went straight to that. They okay. definitely jumped ahead a lot. Yeah, maybe it's just me seeing it the second time, and I'm just I kind of know where it's going. Yeah, I'd be interested how you feel when I have a second view like that. Yeah. But uh, what do you say we go to score? Sure, yeah, we we'll go to score. Give me your score. I'm going to give it 4.5. Uh, 4. I would have gave it an extra 5 if there was the original dub with Lou Ferrigno actually speaking. That's yeah. the only thing holding it back. Yeah, wow. I want that. Yeah. Give me that. Whoever is, can buy this movie and find the original dub, do it. Do it. I will Some put in to that Kickstarter. Has the audio. Some, somewhere. Yeah. Somebody has to have it. I will put money into a Kickstarter if somebody has to start. We'll be like Mary J. Gillis talking about things where he's like, oh yeah, the, the oh. camera just sounded so bad, yeah. like you could hear it, so we uh, we just threw it away. We just threw it away. We uh, had to do overdub the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> I will pay for that overdub. I yeah. will pay five hundred dollars. Wow! Yeah, for a copy of that with the original dub. We well, we get to find the, whoever. I guess it's Kino Kino Lorber. Yeah, is the company. Okay. Email them. We'll email them. Yes. 
say we will give you five hundred dollars for the original dub. Original dub. Okay. So we want to release our version. Yes. <laughs> With the original dub. So no more popcorn. That that's gonna be. So we'll have our new our new uh, company. Yeah. We'll release redub versions of these movies. Oh yeah. yeah. Redub versions of the overdub. Redub versions of things. Yeah. Read a version of Sinbad of the Seven Seas. Yeah. How it was meant to be seen and heard. Read up versions of all these old shitty kung fu movies. Oh, yeah. You know. We're on to something. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. got it. We can do this. Yeah. We can do it. Send money to my PayPal to finance us. PayPal Patrick. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I would give this I'm going to give this a three and a half yeah uh, yeah it's got fun moments it's a fun kind of goofy movie I I think the action's kind of bad mm. it's pretty bad but it's not bad in the entertaining way like say P.D. Wheatstraw bad yeah it seemed like the action kind of picked up with the leper dead leper people yeah because they were actually doing he stuff he did tear a guy's yeah. arm off that was yeah. good yeah. it's another case of like whoa he tore a guy's arm off yeah. right in front of him this is a kid it feels like a kid's movie and then he just like rips a guy's yeah. arm off uh, yeah I I don't know I it's like I like what I like when I when I see bad action I like when it's like really hectic and, and like kind of crazy nonsense yeah like P.D. Wheatstraw Dolomite has that feel where they're just like oh yeah they're just going in there and going at it yeah uh um well Hollywood those movies like uh um, Who Killed Captain Alex oh yeah like those I mean Who Killed Captain Alex hands down has better action yeah because they're athletic they know a little bit of martial arts and they just like go for yeah. This one, it's like they choreographed it, but they choreographed it really simple. So it's like clang, clang, stab, clang, Just clang, me. slap. Like you the know, first it's very the, simple. Yeah. First half of the movie, Lee Fregno would refuse to use the sword. Yeah, it was he funny. Just kept throwing it away. It was like, you know what? It, you know, it just occurred to me. It was like beyond the seventh door. Remember yeah. that? Uh -huh. How he would pick up his tool belt, he oh, would put yes. it on, and, not, and then he would go to the next room, and then he would take it off and throw it down. <laughs> Lou Ferrigno was like this about a sword. Yeah. Like he would put his sword, he would get his sword, he would go to the next fight, and then he would take it and throw it away. Yeah. Every single time. <laughs> Or when he did use it, his sword would break. Oh, yeah. It would immediately break. And I'm like, no wonder he throws it. Yeah, it's exactly. a piece of shit. Yeah. What, yeah, what are your swordsmiths? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very shiny sword, though. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think you should watch this movie. It's fun. Yeah. It's stupid and fun. If you got kids, kids would like it. Oh, yeah. So you have four and a half for Patrick, three and a half for yeah. me. We round it to, you know, average it out to a four. Yeah. No more popcorn. It's <laughs> official score of four. Four. Sounds good. Sinbad of the Seven Seas starring Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get that over there. Or yeah. the, the original dub. $500. Anybody that can find the original audio. Original dub. You procure that to me, you will get $500. There you go. <laughs> contest. Yes. The Chaley Contest. <laughs> original dub, Lou Fregno. $500. We will see you guys next week.